Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Master channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Before we move any further, a word from our sponsor. Dear viewers and subscribers from the US, have you ever wondered how you can make tax-free crypto trades and also in a fully legal manner? Then iTrust is here for you. iTrust is America's number one crypto IRA and 401k trading platform. It's a platform where you can self-trade cryptocurrencies and physical gold or silver in your retirement account. The main advantages of using iTrust Capital are it is a fully tax advantaged account where any trades you make in this account are tax free in an IRA. You get one of the lowest costs in the crypto trading space with 1% trading fee for crypto and $50 over spot per ounce of gold. You also have a 24 hour day trading period because of their deep liquidity pool. They also have a wide range of cryptocurrencies. You can basically trade between Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA, Chainlink, Polkadot, and several other DeFi and non-DeFi tokens as well. And they're also planning to add more cryptocurrencies, including Decentraland or Mana. You can also trade physical gold and silver. And iTrust utilizes Vault Chain, an investment-grade gold and silver held physically at the Royal Canadian Mint with ownership managed by a secure blockchain distributed ledger. More importantly, they have Coinbase Custody and Curve as their two most important digital asset wallet providers who are some of the most leading players in the crypto space. So if you like to trade crypto and physical gold and silver in a completely tax-free environment, you can basically choose iTrust Capital. If you use the link in the description below or use the code BRUTAL, then you can get your first month completely free which is $29.95 off your first month's trading fee account. So, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below to start your iTrust Capital account and start your tax-free trading of crypto and physical gold today. In this episode, we're going to talk about a project that I feel is going to do pretty well in the future. And this project is called the DREP token, right? Again, as always, guys, I highly recommend you guys to do your own research and any the project we are on our channel. And for this project, I recommend you guys to go to the website drip.org in order to learn more about this project, right? So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to rely on the information present on Coin Market Caps page for this token, as well as Binance Research page. But again, this is only going to be a peripheral analysis, which means you need to do your own in-depth research before you put your hard-earned money on this token, right? So what is Drip? DREP is committed to building connectors and toolboxes based on blockchain technology and aims to provide solutions that combine ease of use, flexibility and frictionless integration. Based on DREP chain, DREP ID and DREP SDK, DAP teams are able to release multiple public chain asset versions, built-in wallets and asset trading platforms with one click. So when it comes to uh, DRIP itself, it's a project that's uh, you know trying to build connectors and toolboxes uh, which are based on blockchain technology and it aims to provide solutions that combine ease of use, flexibility and frictionless integration, right? So th those are some of the main key components that DRIP is aiming to solve and contribute to the blockchain space. And when it comes to uh, some of the components that it has, it uses DREP chain, which is the native chain of the DREP ecosystem, DREP ID and DREP SDK or a software development kit. It uses, it provides these tools for DAP teams or you know, decentralized application developer teams uh, in order to provide them with an opportunity to release multi-chain, multi-public chain asset versions with, with built-in wallets and asset trading platforms with just one click. So you, it allows developers or DAP developers to kind of like build all of, uh, use all of these tools to build, you know, um, you know multi-chain asset versions as well as built-in wallets and, you know, asset trading platforms with very quick and easy, you know, um, in a quick and easy manner, right? So those, those are some of the main use cases of how DREP works. DREP proposes the concept of smart pipeline technology, which reportedly uh, improves data processing ability, similar to a layer 2 solution with strong scalability and zero gas consumption. DREP upgrades advanced technology solutions into APIs and plugins 
thus lowering blockchain learning costs, development difficulty and complexity on the application enterprise side, right. So, they are trying to uh, propose the concept of smart pipeline technology which is a very advanced technology that uh, you know uh, helps with data processing as well as providing layer 2 kind of solutions to uh, blockchains in order to in increase the throughput of uh, you know dap efficiency right and they also focus on strong scalability along with zero gas consumption so if you use daps that are built uh, using uh, drip uh, drips tools you can build highly scalable and gas consumption will be pretty much zero for those dApps, right? So those are some of the main key features that Drip is aiming to build. And when it comes to upgrading costs and you know advanced technology, Drip is aiming to do that as well by integrating with APIs and plugins. And uh, this basically enables the uh, lowering uh, blockchain learning costs. That's basically one of the other features that are beneficial from Drip's technology and development difficulty. So, it reduces development difficulty for developers who want to develop complicated dApps uh, using Drip's tools and complexity in the application or enterprise side, right? So, they're trying to make things much more easier and user friendly by providing all the tools and kits for developers to build dApps on, right? So, these are some of the, um, you know, primary focuses and visions of uh, the Drip project itself. Drip adopts a Schnorr multi-signature algorithm that is based on the SECP256K1 elliptic curve to improve network efficiency and reduce transmission overhead. So again, here they are using a little bit more technical terminology, but if you do not understand what Schnorr multi-signature algorithm is, uh, all you need to understand is they are using this particular algorithm, um, you know, in order to improve efficiency and reduce transmission overheads, right? To achieve data connectivity and privacy protection, DRIP has designed a decentralized ID or DID system based on MAC, uh, MAC, HMAC hash message uh, authentication code algorithm forming a dual layer system of master ID and multiple sub IDs. DRIP client allows users to manage data and assets from on centralized and decentralized platform with one interface. So again, these are some of the other list of um, you know tools that uh, Drip offers. Um, you know, in order to uh, provide a much more user friendly and uh, you know ease of uh, access to assets which are on centralized and decentralized platforms. Um, so they also use a DID, which is a decentralized ID system, which is kind of like what they use on Litentry in order to find. Uh, you know, in order to link an identity to a particular, uh, you know, person, right? So, with, for a particular address. So, that is something that they are also working on. To enhance data privacy protection, DRIP uh, chain adopts the use of uh, homomorphic encryption to safeguard user sensitive information. So, DRIP chain is also focused on privacy protection and therefore, they are using, uh, you know, in, uh, very specialized encryption such as homomorphic inscriptions in order to safeguard users sensitive information, right. So, this is also something that is quite technical, but they are doing it um, and they have managed to do, make a lot of progress in that as well, right. To provide an easy to use tool interface for 2B enterprises and provide an efficient and frictionless service portal for Drip uh, ecosystem users, Drip launches a comprehensive Drip client integrating functions including asset management, identity management, application development and traffic portals. So, uh, so far they have spoken about multiple use cases, but now they are focusing on use cases for 2B enterprises or you know uh, specific enterprises not just you know regular individuals like you and I. Uh, those enterprises can also benefit from some of the tools that Rip is offering and these are listed here, right. So, when it comes to a quick overview, this uh, it seems like DREP is not necessarily well explained on CoinMarketCap's page. It is a little bit technical, so you may have to, um, you know, under, try to understand this because it is a little bit of a complicated project, uh, but there are easy explanations given by Binance on Binance research page. So, when it comes to Binance research page, if you search for DREP, um, you can find a lot of bite-sized information on this project. So, what they mainly aim to do is they are basically connectors and toolkits on the blockchain. So, these are basically um, this project mainly focuses on providing tools 
and you know uh, connections for different projects on multiple different blockchains right uh, drip is a blockchain connector and toolkit featuring gamification tools so it is kind of like a uh, you know as we discussed right now a toolkit and connector platform uh, that focuses on providing um, tools for gamification the project supports one click deployment of decentralized applications on multiple public chains so you can use drip to deploy a particular dapp on multiple different chains or can you know uh, do uh, you know dapps create multiple different dapps and deploy them on multiple different uh, you know blockchains you can do all of that using one click which means it's a very simple and user friendly uh, you know protocol that helps to um, you know do um, a lot of uh, deployments uh, with multi- uh, to multiple different chains with extremely high ease of access right the drip chain is based on the improved version of the traditional practical byzantine fault tolerance or pbft consensus mechanism and dedicated proof of stake uh, consensus mechanism drip chain is further compatible with smart contracts in the ethereum virtual machine and web assembly formats the drip chain has a dual layer structure consisting of a root chain and customizable customizable subchains so when it comes to the structure of this ecosystem itself it consists of drip chain which is where all these uh, tools are available and it uses an improved version of the uh, traditional practical byzantine fault tolerance consensus mechanism combined with the delegated proof of stake consensus so it is a very secure blockchain it uses two different consensus mechanism in order to stay relevant and they all are completely you know smart contract compatible which is also uh, in, you know evm compatible and web assembly compatible format so they are fully evm compatible which means developers won't have a hard time you know building dapps on top of ethereum or binance smart chain or any blockchain that is evm compatible through the drip chain right and it has a dual layer structure consisting of a root chain and customizable subchain so similar to how polka dot has you know para chain as, as well as relay chain uh, you know drip also has a similar dual layer structure which mainly consists of the root chain uh, which is kind of like the backbone and the subchains which are customizable and are you know working together with the root chain right when it comes to nodes itself a node can transmit real time data executed in a smart contract to external uh, applications through the smart pipeline which will then take the results back to the blockchain after the computation is done so here they're talking about how running nodes work uh, there's a lot of technical information but overall they use a system called the smart pipeline which basically takes results uh, back to the blockchain after the computation is done Uh, smart pip- pipeline uh, aims to handle more complex application scenarios while offering a more flexible and economical execution process with zero gas consumption right again as you see they are using smart pipeline which is one of their main core components in order to achieve zero gas consumption and uh, they explain it on how it does that in much more detail here so i'll let you guys figure it out but overall they do use smart pipeline Uh, in order to make uh, you know gas free transactions possible right the drip token has multiple functions such as paying for gas fees and as a means of payment for transactions between subchains and for trading assets in future drip games so since this game is also focused on gamification uh, the drip token basically comes into play because it has not just uh, you know like typical functions of a ecosystem token it also has multiple different functions as well for example it can be used for paying gas fees within the ecosystem and for any transactions between subchains and for trading assets in future drip games you would need the drip tokens right so these are some of the quick use cases and the quick overview of the platform itself there are several other information that i suggest you guys to read through on binance research uh, with regards to this token itself and again Binance Research has done an excellent job trying to present this information uh, in very easy and bite-sized pieces. If you want to do a deep dive, they have a really clear explanation for each and every section and the history of DREP, uh, the strategic sales that DREP was a part of, and so on and so forth. Right. So there's a lot of information which I suggest you guys to read through, including the information about the token distribution along with the DREP uh, token release schedule, which is also quite good, as you can see quickly here. uh they have the developmental uh 
uh, you know plan uh, for for different years including uh, you know for for some of the uh, ambitious projects that they're trying to uh, ambitious dapps that they're trying to launch and uh, yeah a lot of information here which can be accessed on by the three such page right so going back to the uh, again if you want to go to the coin market cap page for this token you can kind of access all the information along with this website so let's go quickly to the website uh, which is drip.org uh, they have a pretty cool website right away if you see the this is the home page uh, i don't think i can open a lot of information because it's on my phone but uh, here they have uh, you know a lot of uh, useful information that you can't necessarily find um, you know even on coin market cap as well as on binance research page you can basically find it here right so for some reason i can't move below this line because it seems like uh, the mobile version of this uh, website is not necessarily working properly you have all these cont- uh, distortions with overlapping like information you can swap you can uh, learn more about the drip chain itself which i don't think i can access right now so i'm just going to skip through this even when i access the page it seems like the pages uh, the words are basically overlapping with each other which makes it very hard to understand right but if you go to drip.org you can use this for your further research right so going back to the coin market cap page for this token this token is currently ranked 607th by market cap on coin market cap and is currently trading at $1.60 as i am making this video with about 13.71% increase in the past 24 hours right again a quite a bit of increase in the past 24 hours alone the market cap is only 63.9 million dollars which is quite low in fact i would consider this as a low market cap token uh, it could definitely be classified as a gem because they are trying to do a lot and some things that they are trying to do are extremely like you know uh, uh, important for the crypto space as a whole right so i think for a project with this much caliber i think the market cap of less than 100 million tokens is quite surprising and is quite undervalued so this is definitely a good time to do some research and get into this project right if you're interested in this so circulating supply is about 39.9 million tokens it does not have a max supply and it has a total supply of about 100 million tokens so again the total supply does seem to be pretty good with with the scarcity being built into the system but since this token uh, doesn't necessarily have a max supply that could be new tokens that could be injected which could technically depending on how many tokens are being dumped into the market that's definitely going to cause a price slumping of the token for at least a short term right but overall even though the token dynamics is a little bit you know uh, weird because of the lack of max supply for such a high quality project like this one I still feel like this token has a good future and I'll pro- provide you with my price predictions in the end of the video right so when you scroll below to see the charts itself you can clearly see that this token has been doing quite poorly um, and this definitely poses an opportunity for uh, for people to buy this token initially this token was worth $2.30 as of uh, you know April this year but it went up to $4 and I believe four dollars and nineteen cents, which is its all-time high, before crashing back down to a all-time lows of about. I would probably say, I think this project has um, an all-time lows of forty-nine cents, and this was during, I believe, the you know sixth um, of uh, you know sorry not sixth twenty-fourth of June twenty twenty-one. and then since then it's been starting to recover so once the project reaches all time low the projects will definitely start recovering so did this project and it's uh, been pretty much flat for most of the year until the early november when the token went from 82 cents to a new uh, you know new highs of about uh, you know 2 dollars and 5 50 cents before crashing back down to 90 cents and now it's kind of in the rising trend right reaching $1.60 mark with a 13% 13 to 14% increase in the past 24 hours itself right so if you look at the price of the token obviously this token was a really good buy when the token was in around 80 cents or less than a dollar but if you try to buy this token right now you're still buying it at a really good discount from its all time highs of $4.16 or 19 cents so that's going to be a good opportunity to get in but if you want to wait for a bit i would probably say that this token can definitely make a Uh, you know reversal and it can definitely retest the $1 or 90 cent mark which is a better opportunity to buy right but if you buy this token at this price point you're still buying it at a good price when it comes to the bitcoin compared to again the dollar compared to is pretty much like a carbon copy of bitcoin compared to if you see the token was initially worth um, you know 3200 satoshis per token before reaching a new all time highs 
while Bitcoin was while uh, dollar competitor was reaching all time highs, the Bitcoin competitor also reached all time highs of 5,500 satoshis per token before crashing back down to a new all time lows of about uh, 50, you know, 1,100 satoshis per token, and it moved sideways and then made even more lows and retested the, you know, kind of like uh, you know 1,100 satoshis, uh, 1,200 satoshi mark, but it re it shot up during mid of November. To a price point of 3,500, close to 3,500 satoshis per token, and then before crashing down to 1,500, and then starting to go back up again uh, to 2,500 satoshis per token. Right? I would probably say that this is a really good opportunity to to buy this token, not only in Bitcoin compatible but also dollar compatible as well. But if you want to wait, this token can definitely reverse and be available at a much better price point of probably less than 2,000 satoshis per token. But I feel like if you buy this token at this price point, you're still buying it from an extremely far away all-time highs of about 5,500 satoshis per token, which is still a uh, decent gains to be made, right? But this is not financial advice. Please do your own research before you put your money on this token, right? When it comes to the market itself, this token obviously has a lot of liquidity on Binance because it is already listed on Binance. And that's one of the reasons why the the kind of like um, the platform itself is you know doing a little bit well these days uh, and i think it's kind of like coming back from the all-time lows and doing well binance has a lot of liquidity uh, that's also gay.io and ascendex which which is currently uh, which is a formerly known as bitmax so these three are probably the most trusted uh, exchanges out of which binance is the most trusted exchange uh, so to get this token for uh, you know good liquidity amounts right so that's my verdict guys when it comes to the final verdict for this token itself this token definitely has a good potential because it just recently came out of its all-time lows and it's still uh, moving sideways obviously because of the fact that a lot of tokens are getting dumped into the market but i think in the you know next upcoming months i'd probably say that this token can easily cross its new all-time highs uh, in old all-time highs to make new all-time highs to in the price range of maybe five to seven dollars per token, which is definitely plausible in the next two months. And by the end of this bull run, I'll probably say this token is going to be probably worth you know eight to nine dollars per token. And in the next five, uh, three to five years point, depending on how many new DApps and how this product does, I'd probably say that this token will probably be worth close to at least ten dollars per token. Uh, you know, in the next five. Uh, three to five years from now in mean, the best case scenario i think this token can definitely go past the 15 dollars mark but that's highly speculative right but it can definitely go above the 10 dollar price range again remember guys you guys are not regular investors you guys are brutal investors so stay brutal thank you very much for watching my video guys if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos see you in my next video bye